Hey guys, Kane here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can clear Silvani Revelers uh, faster than 11 seconds for me. Now, do keep in mind, I am 10.3 million core, my archers are tier 17, and I don't have like uh, army research maxed even for archers and stuff like that, so you have to keep that in mind. So, what you can do to clear it? First comes the preparation. So, in terms of preparation, you have to have one hero pretty much uh, equipped with most of the stuff that uh, would require you to be faster. So, trinkets. One trinket has to be in terms of upgrading the Warhorn ability for 140% attack speed. And the other thing has to be um, Seraphic Ring for 15% uh, increased damage. Now... I'm not entirely sure where it is. Uh, honestly, uh, I have too many friggin' equipments. It's a, a trinket that you get from Divine Trials, and I don't think I'm able to find it rather quickly. I, I don't think I can find it. So basically, it is a trinket from Divine Trials, granting your archers or ranged units 15% more uh, damage. So those two trinkets, uh, or rather those two things to improve uh, a skill and the damage. And then you require uh, an artifact called Mirror of Reality uh, to make a second copy of Avalon. Though unfortunately I do not have that artifact as you can see here, so I only am able to place one Avalon, which kind of loses like a couple of seconds for me just because of this one particular ability granting insane amounts of attack speed for a specific unit group or unit groups. The other thing is uh, you require a prism with these uh, arrays uh, called blessed dexterity and fleeting dexterity and at level 10 they give a total of 60% attack speed to all nearby allies meaning if um, you have this at 60% and you upgrade this Warhorn to 140%, that is about 200% of attack speed granted to your ranged army. And if you have two of them, basically you buff almost your entire uh, field filled with archers. So do keep that in mind. Basically just putting this one hero with so many buffs and your archers are just going to clear everything in a matter of seconds. The other thing which you can do is also have his potential at uh, level 50. And that would grant you uh, an upgrade to the skill called Warhorn, 120% um, attack speed, and 35% damage dealt. Now, if you get this to level 10, this percentage is 40% damage. Do keep that in mind. And two Avalons granting that amount of uh, attack speed and then damage 40%, that's friggin' overpowered. So again, do keep that in mind. This is another way to uh, pass this event a bit faster than um, just with the basic stuffs. For that aside, the other thing which you require to do is every single other prism that you may have is literally filled with army uh, attack uh, prisms. So that is the second thing which you can set up. Now, as I think I have said, if you're a very strong guy, you can pass this event with dead eyes. Now, personally, I, again, don't have research maxed, uh, a lot of other features maxed. Even some hero masteries are not maxed for me. So um, I have to go with what I have. And the next easiest thing um, that can clear this are Sylvani archers because they do uh, percent damage, they do damage more to large uh, and massive um, units even more. And essentially the stats that I have make them pretty decent, um, three attacks per second or so, uh, crit rate is average and critical hit damage is decent in the current numbers. So um, if you cannot pass it with dead eyes as fast, Try Sylvani Archers and they can easily pass it for you. Now, you have to find a specific map uh, in Nor or even other maps which can make it easier for you. So, for most people, if you're using Dead Eyes, you probably will not need this map in general. But for people who are using Sylvani Archers, a map like this with walls on the side are actually a lot better. The reason for that is you don't have to worry the Cavaliers stunning your uh, archers in the front line and instead they smash into the wall and your archers just keep damaging them. 
Now, do keep in mind if you have two avalons uh, and you place them properly, like for example, I would move this avalon here, right? It would buff like five or six archer squads that I would put around him. Like even I would have an archer squad right here. And then even if they, or as fast as they kill these cavaliers, they will almost instantly run towards this side past like the center and start killing everything here. It will take just a couple of seconds. So that is how strong two Avalons are. Now, again, I do not have it. I've even loaned some of my archers to other people. Some are in hospital, so I was trying with a turtle as well. So this is not the formation that I got 11 seconds, so do not pay too much attention towards it. I've placed too many random heroes in here, and all of them are not able to do anything because I have army attack stones. So um, I had this side filled with Sylvani archers as well, and I think like six maybe seven heroes something like that so seeing like 20 heroes here is uh not what i had really passed with so starting the match uh the first thing i always do is i have buffing abilities on racks and i always buff like around the center here uh, where archers will be stacking and trying to kill everything on this side so i buff um here here I didn't have Basri, but we can cast his Blitz as well. And pretty much it. Now, my turtle is without research, uh, without any equipment or buffs, so he's not buffing that much. Though you can try borrowing from a Rakan player with specific equipment and buffs, and even placing talk on your field, perhaps that could increase your score, because it also grants a lot of attack speed, so do keep that in mind. So for the sake of it, or for the hell of it, I will cast it. And seven seconds, we've already cleared everything. And if I had like three more uh, Sylvani Archer squads, they would already have broken through long ago. So uh, I'm gonna cast this just for the sake of the Cannoneers not shooting as much. And uh, almost everything is cleared. 12 seconds without additional three um, uh, Sylvani Archer squad. So perhaps with a better turtle, perhaps with uh, a couple more Sylvani Archers, you will easily get 11 seconds or even faster than this. Again, you keep in mind my Archers are tier 17 and I don't have those two Avalons. So that's pretty much it for this video. You can more or less uh, try to uh, redo your army in that particular way uh, in terms of Avalon, uh, Trinkets, Artifact. If you have potential, you can try uh, Reset probably one hero. If you have like one hero at level 50, you can try Reset for free. Then place that skill and after you finish, you can reset. If you rank higher, you can even reset for Lenari or whatever. But do keep in mind, don't waste a lot of Lenari for just resetting like five heroes just to get this. It's really not worth it. So that aside, you can try it. And the place where I have found this particular one, 12 and a half stars is in between Jeruvalir and Tiamont. So if you require its location, it's in the video as well. You can try it out, uh, tell me how you perform, and um, let me know if this video was helpful to you or not. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. If you found it useful or helpful, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe out there.